we jump into today's M4 video, the Signature Series is live right now. This has three designs with two t-shirts and three sweatshirts. I just want to say this. This is the nicest sweatshirt I've ever owned. Once you pick up one of these sweatshirts, you will never want to own a different sweatshirt ever again. We have the RX-7 one that I'm wearing. You have the base and blue R34. You have the Mark IV Supra three sweatshirts, and we have two t-shirts and two different colors of every design. The links are down below, go check it out. Well, this is a video we should have done a long time ago because when we did the exhaust on the M4, it made it louder, but not like as loud as I think we all really appreciate. So today, <laughs> okay, so here's Dude, the thing. This is you the have word. to hear this me out. Word. You have to hear me out. Can okay. I at least like okay. give you my- What's your justification? Okay, What's so your justification? we have the Valvetronic exhaust on the car right now. Now, if you don't remember, that car has valves. But rather than using the valves that the Valtronic exhaust comes with, we kept the OEM valves. But you're like, Teach, what is the difference okay. in that? Yeah, yeah. The yeah. OEM valves only open 30%. The aftermarket oh. valves open 100%. Okay. So right now, when we go max volume, we're really not even getting max volume with the setup. It's technically okay. like a pretty big restriction. Okay. So I think this will be a really good setup of doing downpipes with a full titanium exhaust. I don't want it to be ear piercing and knowing that. I don't want to be that guy. But okay, I don't, okay, but listen. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a good mix. Listen. It's going to be a really good mix. I remember the day that we did the exhaust on my Supra. Yeah. And it's I drove <laughs> from Target to my house, you know which intersection, and I had to gun it past it. You were pooping on your third floor. I remember. And you heard. Yeah. Calvin like drove by my old house one day and it was like, dude, at least, at away. least more than a block away. And I was on the toilet taking a poop. I heard this like straight pipe B58 and I text him. I'm like, was that you flooring it? And he was like, that was me. It's not going to be that loud. It's not going to be I that loud. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. It's not going to be that loud. I promise. I don't believe you. So today we have some downpipes from a place in San Diego. They're a store that you guys can go to and pick up parts. It's really cool. We got some parts of them on our Supra, some uh, high flow cat downpipes for the G82. They are called Euro class. I'm gonna link them down below. It's one of the only places that you can actually go and buy parts like in person that doesn't exist anymore. And I wish it did, but Amazon and drop shipping has just gotten so amazing. Okay, I'm not talking to all the people in Texas who have like the big summit racing. We just, we don't have that here in California. So I really, I really love them. Uh, so shout out to them, they'll be linked down below. Go get your parts for BMWs and such from there. So we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into it. You may be saying to yourself, maybe questioning, wow, do, do TJ or Calvin know how to, how to put, in put in this a exhaust, exhaust lower, lower down, down, down pipe, pipe on, an in, M4. on an M4? <laughs> I think so. No. We, I, okay. Well, off camera. No. Off but we're going to do it and you're going to find out. The Supra, the 2020 GR, is similar to this. They're on the top, simple to get to. But since we have twin Turbski boys, there's a second one. And that was what. Ow, my eyes. <laughs> you just blinded yourself. I blinded myself. I appreciated the commitment. Though. Yeah, I, I wanted the light for you guys. I want you to see my face. Yeah, I keep having know? to adjust the ISO yeah, here because know, you're so. using the light and not using okay. the light. Okay, why don't you have it on auto? That's that's the TJ signature, the auto. I know it is. Anyways, so what's different is this has a twin turbo. So we have a second set of these. I didn't know where they were, so oh. I- Oh! Yeah. Oh, there's four. There's four. What the? Yeah, exactly. Are you exactly. sure? Yes. Look, while TJ was sending emails and stuff, I had to look up a little tutorial. It doesn't exist. It, it's similar. They're similar, but this one, it was simple to follow. So I went underneath the car. I checked out the plugs. One is right here at the top. So similar. you see that one and that one? They're yeah. the same. But the second one is underneath the car in a much easier position. So easy, easy as... Should I say, should I say it? Your mom. I want to be super real with you guys. The drop that is live today for these sweatshirts and the t-shirts is different than what we're used to. You guys are typically used to the same t-shirts and blanks that we've been doing for years. And I wanted to do it different this time. What makes the signature series drop so special is that the quality, the weight, the material of the sweatshirts, the hoodies, the jackets, whatever you want to call them, and the t-shirts are much, much nicer. I've owned hype expensive sweatshirts and t-shirts, stuff from Kith to Rude, to even some like high-end designer stuff where you'd pay multiple of hundreds of dollars for these hoodies. This is the same material, the same type. I'm gonna be straight up, I'm gonna be real with you. This is a hundred dollar hoodie, the t-shirts are 45, but it's not a hoodie that you'll wash once or twice and just can throw it away because it's just falling apart and it's just a, not as nice as these. This will last you, they will, 
fit the same after you wash them once, twice, three, four, five. It's just gonna last you out longer. And to be honest, I just wanted to make something that was a nicer product at, at the end of the day. I know Hunt & Company hasn't typically sold things like this that are as expensive, but hear me out if you've been a supporter of this channel, if you've been a customer of Hunt & Co. in the past, or maybe you're, you've never have been. Take a chance on me, check them out. The weight, the material, Typically when you hold our older sweatshirts up, you can even sometimes like see through them in the light. This stuff is so thick, you can't even see through it. It has an amazing feel and I'm just proud of it and I want you guys to hear me out. They're so dope, they're so sick and it's the best product that we've ever printed on. Like I said, they're available right now. Check out the links down below in the description or just go to thehuntingcompany.com. That's the that's the bottom one. So you see, what? The that's the one heck that's... How weird. Yeah. Oh, that has to be unplugged. Yeah, that's the other one. But what I just want to know is how accessible are the V-bands? I don't know yet. I have oh, I see them. They don't look terrible. They don't look terrible. Well, I can see them, right? So that's like half the battle. But it's a reach, brother. We'll be able to, but hey, if we could do... Dude, that if we, if we could do the, like the event the straight pipe venerdor we could do this we'll take off this and then we'll just handle what's in front of us fam what's nice is that you can like kind of get an eyeball on things can you capture it i probably could whoa oh did you get it i did it really only one side That's so better than let me coming. let me point at it right here you see bang and then now this side has to come out. But that one just popped off. Which... Get a little meat on it. I'll get a hammer. Oh, I got I got the view, right? If Ready? you get it, it'll be all on cam. Oof. Oh! oh! That's it. It's jiggly. Dog. Hell yeah. Who are you? Not the doctor. Who's Dylan? I got my license revoked. Oh, you did? Yeah. I'm still a doctor. Good. Good. Yeah, I yeah, still gonna, have it. I got it, yeah. Yeah. Something happened. Both the V-bands are off, but you can only take one out before the other. You can't do them. Like, there's an order to how they come out. So, if it falls on the ground and hits me or Calvin in the face, we're gonna have it all on cam. I'm caught on something. Oh. Up top, no, up, up top. Oh, oh I see it's it. It's hanging. It's fish hooked. You think I can stick my hand in there? You have to go up top. Come out, come out, wherever you are. It's a full cat exhaust. I was making a a, a mother meme. Like, oh, we delivered. Congratulations, a you've gave birth to a stock catalytic converter downpipe. <laughs> Ma'am, you said that. she's beautiful. She's beautiful. What you gotta do, bud, is put your exhaust in a headlock and give her a good smack. What's that tang tool over do to you, bud? Tank two looked at me funny. Just a good looking pipe, my dude. Just a good looking pipe for a doctor on Ooh. some surgery. The worst thing about this install isn't putting in these exhaust pieces, it's routing the O2 sensors. Right, Facts. right, right. Like, you guys would think that the problem would be space. It's not really space, it's the access point. Better than most cars. I'm, I'll give this No, button. this is, yeah. Yeah, like I can stick my this arms is great. in here. Working on this is a lot nicer than working on a lot of do, other downpipes. Do you feel my... Assessment was accurate. Very accurate. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go ahead and throw this in. We don't have Anthony out here to hold the camera today, so I'm gonna put you guys down on that amazing lever rack rolling cart, and we'll continue. Is it going like that? I'm not sure. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> There's no. One I don't like that. that. Okay, one more. Oh, too much. Yep. Yep. That's where it looks like it wants to be. Oh, now I see this. Okay. Okay. Too much. I'm like far left. I'm hitting. Oh, okay. So we need to spin it. Spin it counterclockwise. Yup! That that's that might be it. She felt good, but that can't go close. Oh my shoulder! I know my shoulders. My shoulders. Oh, my shoulders. No, 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 I still that many. Oh, I. Eh. Eh. Ooh. Eh. Ooh. I need to spin it a little bit. Don't oh, move, Deej. I'm not. You moved. Oh my neck. <laughs> my neck. My neck. Ah, it hurts so. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Okay. I can't find the hole. Oh! I'm in the hole. You got it. I'm in the hole. Now you gotta thread that as fast as those fingies can move. <laughs> My neck. <Ugh>. My neck. <laughs> That's saying a lot. You got a chunk for a neck, dude. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Shut up, dude. I seen it. Ugh. Come on, fingies. I believe. Oh, there you go. There you go. <sighs> Was it that brutal? My neck. Why do you think I have such a thick neck? Oh, I don't. Um, I have to use it, dude. Okay. 
The hard part's done. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead, tighten down those V-bands. I'm gonna snake these O2 sensors back up and we'll be able to put the rest of the exhaust back in. We're finishing up putting the exhaust pipes in. I wanted to go put this back in, but TJ stopped me. Santa Claus is here. What is that? This was sent a long time ago from our friend over at Keys Motorsport. We used to work with them a lot on all of our old BMW stuff. Check this out. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. That's actually the coolest. Yeah. The coolest little thing. I yeah. That. It's a full carbon fiber truck tower from Keys. Can I get one for my car? Sure. Do they make it for your car? I don't know. Does Keys yeah. make it for your car? This Keys is primarily the BMW. These are sick. Oh, that's sick. Oh, and it comes with a whole bunch of memes. Yeah. The, oh, that's what those memes are. I was like fiddling with those. Yeah. So before we put all this back, we can go ahead and install this before we do the rest of the exhaust. Thank you, Keys, we love you. Supplied Loctite? Pretty nice, dude. Yeah, Cal, hit him with that cinematic, dog, do it. Ooh. Damn! Oh, in the knees. <laughs> it's all in the knees, dude. That was a super quick install, but it looks super rad. That's a lot of carbon, boy. That's all carbon, boy. Thank you, Keith. We love you. Last but not least, we're gonna put back the mid pipe, okay. the front pipe, the mid pipe. We're gonna put we're gonna put the exhaust back now to fill up the gap. You guys always know I love my cold starts. It's a uh, Take that back. You guys know I love my Semi. startup exhaust reveal. This thing with the last setup still felt pretty tame. Hopefully it's better now. Calvin, give me a good start. Valves are closed. Can you put it in M mode? Valves are good. There you go. Now. Not like that. Oh god. Maybe a little blip, not make me pimp. Oh, it sounds so good. Sounds sick. Sounds sick. It's, it's, it's super sick at three and four. Oh, it sounds sick, dude. Anything above five, that hurt my ear. Yeah. All right, I have a very sketchy block set up. Can you put it in reverse very slowly? Look, look at this stacked two by four. Oh my God. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh my look God. Look at this, look at this. Don't move. <laughs> it's very close. Oh my dude. I didn't like that. Like, I didn't like that. Millimeters. From hitting, I, that's what I was millimeters. saying. Millimeters. That's what I was saying. Don't look down there. It's stuck. I need, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Wait just a moment. <laughs> dude, I, that's what I thought was gonna happen. Hold on, I, I can fix this. That's what happens. It, it'll go like that. Yeah, there you go, yeah. You're good. Oh man, this car has my heart. So first things first, we'll do valves open because I think that's what we're all excited about here. See how it sounds? You also don't need a tune for this, which is pretty cool. The M4s are smart enough where the O2 sensors can make do. When you do tune this car, it gets unbelievably fast. It already is very fast, but it gets like way faster. Like 700 horsepower fast. Yeah, you should be able to get like seven, eight out of it, which is Crazy. Just a little scrape, don't worry about it. Oh wow, it's loud. It's real loud. Oh. Why did it take me so long? What's really nice is that it's loud, but on the inside, it's not like this noticeable big drone. Dude, new cars get crazier and crazier and crazier with how they don't drone terribly on the inside. Even like valves open. Like windows windows up. up. You can hardly tell. 
Yeah, it, with windows up, it just sounds like the way it should have came, but not like ear piercing. Like it's still very, very quiet in here. Oh God. <laughs> a bit faster now. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, like my butt dinos. Yeah, that's, ins right that's insane. It's one of those things where you guys probably won't be able to tell through the camera. So much louder. Like, a insane difference. Dude, so loud. It's like too gnarly. It's, I like feel bad doing it's this. so loud. Wow. Like not E90 loud? No, like it's, it's not E90 loud. It just sounds like, yeah. it sounds pissed yeah, off. Yeah, it does. And then on the way back here, we'll do uh, valves closed in normal drive mode. And it literally is back have a conversation. So. Oh my God, this is like so incredibly quiet yeah. in here. I don't know how BMW does it, but they're amazing. I was gonna say bold statement before this, but honestly not. The new G80s, really like push the envelope for not like supercars but when you're trying to like decide oh do i get that 458 or do i get that uracon like yeah the 458 and th those exotics the 570 and stuff like those look exotic and you know sound pretty crazy because it's the motor setups but literally you get like the same speed you're not going to have the handling of one of those but the same speed the same excitement the same like actually, if not better interior. I guess it's kind of like, this just reminds me of like the R35. Like the R35 like wasn't, it was a supercar, but it didn't like have the looks and the bells and whistles like all the other like foreign exotic brands, but like gives you everything you want. That's what this reminds me of. It reminds me of a modern day R35 GTR, even though that still exists today, but those just aren't it anymore. I mean, they're cool, Ooh, but like- what a statement. I mean, I would rather, I would for sure rather, oh, I'd rather 100%, have this 100%. than the newest Nismo 100%. R35, whatever. So like, I don't know, to me that's like, that's a tough thing to beat. Just finished the M4 stuff rather quickly. And I'm gonna end today's video a little bit shorter just because if you're a part of the Clips fam, you know what's going on right now. Uh, we have to try to get this Supra fixed and ready for good life. And uh, we're gonna be working a little bit late tonight. We're already gonna be rolling into the next video. So if you're not caught up, go to the Clips channel. You can get caught up. But man, I'm stressed out, but the M4 sounds amazing. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Probably be uploading the next day or two just to give you an update on what's going on. And I'll see you guys in the next vid. Peace out and keep moving forward. Hey. Woo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>